Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License. Oh my God, uh, we played Final Fantasy 1 for the first time yesterday. And guess what? We're gonna do more of that today. We're gonna do more of that today. I have a fresh Manny on, okay? I did have to chop them off. They're a little bit shorter now. I had this, this poor nail right here had like a pretty giant chip in it. Some of the chip is still there. I'm, I'm hoping that the polish can hold it together and it'll grow out <laughs> and it'll all be okay. It'll all be okay. And I can have uh, the regular length again, but, um, but I don't know. We shall see. I'm gonna just do a little, do a little I just did the, I don't know, I feel so dry. I feel so dry. I think it's just me today. I don't think it's actually dry. Because um, we've had rain and stuff lately, so like I don't I don't think it's like the weather is dry. I think I am literally dry. So yeah. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Oiled up. Oiled up. I needed that. I need that. Okay. Let's uh let's do it to it, you guys. Come on, show them the game. There we go. Okay. Um, so previously. <laughs> Previously, on Final Fantasy 1, we saved Cornelia, um, and then we went and saved Pravika from some, uh, from some pirates, and now we have the Jolt Tonic to go give to the Elf Prince, so he'll be cool, and he'll be okay. Okay, encounters on. Perfect. Yes, we want encounters on. So we gotta go give the prince this tonic so he can wake up. Apparently, they've been, um, they've been princeless for five years or something, like their king died or, or, or whatever, and... I mean, I try to tell them they don't need a monarchy at all. They could just, you know, this would be a perfect opportunity to get rid of the monarchy because it's always the right time to get rid of the monarchy. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't think they're interested. You know, I just, I just don't, I just don't think they're, they're maybe they're not ready. Maybe they're scared, you know. Um, maybe there are just other powerful people besides the monarchy that benefit from the monarchy's continued existence. And so, you know, they said, nah, we just want to wake up the prince. So like, I'm like, okay, cool. I guess I'll help you then. So that's what we did. And now we're going to go give it to the prince. We're going to help him out. Koneko, hello. Koneko with the first, hey, are you feeling better today, friend? Are you feeling better today? Or are you still sicky? I'm very dry today. I hope you're feeling a bit better. So after we go wake up the prince, hopefully he'll give us a new quest of where we're supposed to go next. Because now we're at a point in the game where I've never ever played before, so I don't even have like old memories to try to look back on. So we'll see what happens. I do have a guide if we get stuck, but I'm trying not to use it. I'm definitely not going to look at boss strategies or anything like that. It's just a where to go guide. I'm still sick, but I'm feeling better. I'm so sorry you're still sick, but I am glad that you're getting better. You probably have to eat more, but it's really hard to eat in between coughing fits. Oh my god, true. True. When I'm not feeling well, I don't want to eat either. It's just not interesting to me if I'm like sick, you know? I mean, I love food, but... Oh, we need to go in the castle part. This one. Okay. But if I'm sick, like... I, I want to, I don't want to eat. <laughs> it's just not fun. It's not fun. If it's difficult to do, you know. Okay, Prince, guess what? Oh, I guess I have to give it to the Chancellor. There we go. This jolt tonic may be just what we need to break the curse and awaken the Prince. I will try it at once. I bet it works, you guys. I bet it works. Your Highness? Your Highness! I was having a terrible nightmare. Am I still dreaming? You... You're the legendary warriors. Something tells me I'm not dreaming. I shall heed the legend as it was told to me and my forefathers. The time for me to pass on the mystic key to its rightful owners has come at last. I got the mystic key. Okay, now I can go open all those rooms that were locked to me before. Fuck yeah. Thanks to you, the prince has finally awoken. You have my undying gratitude. You brought peace back to Elfheim. Okay, well, we got the mystic key. Um, I guess I need to do the flash warning. Flash warning on this game. Let's 
pin that. It won't let me pin it again today. It's so dumb. Why can't I pin my own messages? I don't get it. Normally, I don't want to eat when I'm sick, but sometimes my appetite returns before my body agrees with the idea of eating. And that happened yesterday. Oh, no. So you're hungry on top of it. Oh, that freaking sucks. I'm so sorry, Koneko. I'm so sorry. Okay, so there was lots of, like, mystic key bullshit. Okay, thank you, Koneko. I can pin yours for whatever reason. <sighs> OBS sometimes is really dumb. Okay, so there was all these places that were locked to me. So we got to go find them. I, I want to say there was even some here in this castle. One of the corners or something had a room. More OBS, more like OBS for fucking real. Okay, maybe I need to go around the outside, around the outside. I thought this was a Twitch thing. Maybe, maybe Twitch is blocking me from doing it. I don't know. Oh, it's back, it's back there. Okay, hang on. We're gonna do it. Around the outside. Yeah, maybe Twitch doesn't want creators pinning their own messages. Maybe that's not like the intention of the feature, but like Twitch, come on. Not all of us have like tons and tons of viewers. Sometimes we would need to pin our own messages. Like I have, I have viewers, but you know, I'm small. I'm a small bean. Okay, Mithril Hammer, fuck yeah. Gil, Gil, bronze gloves. Okay, um, let's equip that shit. That's obviously a new hammer for Lunar. Okay, and then we got gloves, right? Bronze gloves. Oh, it turns his evasion down. But only by one point. It puts his defense up a point. Let's do it. Let's do it. I feel like I feel like he's he's a warrior. He should have that. Okay, so we got those treasures. And um I want to show you guys something if I can find it again. I was like messing around after stream with something. No, not that. Oh, that's default speed, okay. Where is it? Maybe it's in the menu? No, it was like a... Oh, yeah, you can do this, too. You can use the buttons to flip your party. Controls, maybe? No, it was like a fancy map. It was like a fancy map that told me how many treasures were in each place, and now I can't remember how to get to it. Maybe I can only do it on the overworld. Mm -mm, that's the same menu. Aha, there we go. Okay, so you can see if I go here, zero out of six at Castle Cornelia. Okay, that's because they were all behind the mystic key, I guess. Uh, Cornelia has no chests. Chaos Shrine apparently has 13 chests, so I did not get all of them, even close. Provoca has none. I got all the Elven Castle ones. Elfheim doesn't have any. Western Keep had three. Remember, there was ones in the Locked in the Marsh Cave. Okay, so we need to we need to go get our Trejar. So we're gonna go up to the Marsh Cave. Well, down to the Marsh Cave and also up to the um, Western Keep. And let's uh, open some treasure. And I just realized they did not, in fact, tell me where I'm supposed to go next. Luckily, I have this treasure to distract me. Otherwise, I don't know where I would be going. So hopefully we'll figure something out as we're treasure hunting. Alright, back to the Western Keep. And yes, I am going to try to get all the treasures, because what the heck else would a completionist run in this game be? I don't know. So that's what we're going to do. I'm trying to try to get everything. All the treasure.
You know, not letting me pin my own comments doesn't make sense though, because on YouTube, um, I can make a comment on my own video and pin it if I want to, and it totally does let me. Like, so I can pin my own comments on other platforms with, with pin comment situations. Why not here? So dumb. Yay! Okay. Uh, let's keep going. This was Western Keep. So there should be treasure chests in here that we just didn't get. So let's explore. Okay, this is the room we went into. How do we get over there? Mm -hmm. No! I want to go around. Is it gonna... It's not gonna let me. Okay. I have to find some other way. At least there's no encounters here. Okay, I can go like this way. Is this gonna do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is all the treasure in this room? There's just three. Oh! That's not treasure! The heck? Her hammer does good now. Now that she got an upgraded one. She beats him up. Alright, we can't let Koneko get too low on health. Be a problem. We need her to beat things up. gonna have whatever the flash issue is. I, I don't I feel like I haven't seen any crazy flash just yet. But you know there was only so much they could do with graphics at the time this game was made, so maybe there was like flashes in the original and they're just trying to preserve that. Oh okay. Well, so I did get treasure. I just had to fight monsters first. What is a falchion? Fifteen attack and ten accuracy. That's what he already has with the broadsword. Hmm. I don't see any differences. Okay. Can she? No. Can he? No. Okay. I have no idea what the point of the, the getting the falchion is. Monsters! Holy! F am I gonna have to fight battles on each of these? I just want. I just want my my treasure. Dang, they don't take a lot of damage. Okay. Um, you're going to... Don't we, we don't... What am I... Huh? I don't have any potions. Okay, that's cool. I guess you're just going to attack them, because I really want you to do... Where is it? Diara. Because they're mummies, right? So they're undead. Yes, goodbye. Should have done that from the opening. Power staff? Wait a second. Okay, his attack goes way up, but his accuracy goes down quite a bit too. I guess that's fine. What does it say is optimal? Oh, power staff is optimal. Okay. Falchion is apparently optimal. That don't make no sense. Okay.
Yeah, I don't know why they equip him with leather gloves. All it does is hurt him. That's not optimal. The optimal button is wrong. Um, okay. Not equip. Let's do... Let's cure... Jimmy. Oh my god, monsters on this one too! Okay, but we're gonna do the right opener this time. No, we're not. No, we're not, because we used all of that, that spell slot. Okay. Well, we could just do Dia. And then let's do... Fyra. Won't be as much damage, but it should still help. Woo! Still an Oko on the whole party. Nice. Steel gloves. Steel gloves. Okay. Okay, so now I go back out. Now it says I've got three out of three there. Okay, perfect. Let's go down to the Marsh Cave. Oh, wait. The Marsh Cave is really long. So I actually need to... I need to go back to town. Because I'm, like, out of spell slots and stuff. And I'm get I guess I need to buy potions. Like, the heck. That was unexpected. Okay, let's first have a nap. Okay, let's go to the item store. Oh, it's up here. Okay. Uh, oh, you can buy high potions. Oh, I got a lot of gill. Let's just buy like 20 potions. Okay. And let's buy like 10 high potions. Okay. That should put me in much better shape to run down the marsh cave again. keep wanting to walk in that dead end right there. I don't know why. Like, must be very appealing. Okay, all the chests that we missed, I'm pretty sure, were on that final floor. So I think if I just go down there, we should be good. The Marsh Cave music is so intense. I mean, this place is scary. Like, I was scared. But it turned out okay, we conquered it. We faced our fears. Okay, we can go in here now. Whoa. Wait, who are you? Oh. I should have known better than that. What's wrong with me? Uh. Why did I do that? I could have totally not had this battle happen. Weak to thunder. In case uh, these guys come up again. Mm. 
know, Thunder didn't really do much more damage than Fire did. I knew there was going to be more monsters because of stupid statues. Snakes! Alright. You snakes must dislike fire. It's gotta hurt you. There we go. That's what I like to see. Silver armlet. Okay. Yeah. What was the other piece of equipment I got? Okay, so that copper armlet is better for you. Okay. Alright, so I'm good. Next one. My partner's updating their notes on one of the their stories. Okay, apparently a few things changed that caused a big butterfly effect. Oh no. I'm now getting oh god, I need to change this too. <gasps> That's always what happens. Like, you know. Outlines are helpful, but the final product never ends up like the outline. Never. It's always it's always different. Okay, are all of these are all of these freaking mystic key chests gonna have like attack me with monsters? They all have so far. The Western Keep ones did, the Marsh Cave ones did. Is this gonna keep happening? Okay, there's no- none of the magic really hurts them that much. The only benefit we're getting by using the magic is, uh, we hit all of them. This door was locked, and there's nothing in here. What the heck? Is the other door gonna be the same way? This room, there's gotta be something in here. Okay, good, there's something. Time to fight. The usual suspects, I see. Don't worry, I've got something for you. I wish I could, like, make it so that Koneko goes first, um, to cast the spell on all of them, and then everybody else goes. But it's literally not. Like, they have speed and speed stats or whatever to determine who goes first. It's, like, it's way more D&D-like. My nose is so itchy today. I was sneezing a lot earlier. Okay, lots of gill, okay. All right, so we got all those. Aha, I can get it inside. Okay, so now it's 18 out of 18. Elfheim, Elf Castle, Kravuka, okay. Okay, the Chaos Shrine has lots. I don't remember seeing that many, but okay. And then the Castle Cornelia. Okay, so we need to go back to Castle Cornelia. And then we'll go check out the Chaos Shrine. Maybe I just missed a bunch of chests in the Chaos Shrine, I just didn't explore it enough? I don't know. 
It's like I'm really questioning how many freaking chests are in there. Okay, let's head to our boat, and we'll sail back to the first town. You know, you know what this game told me in the opening cinematic? That the seas were raging. I hadn't seen no raging seas. We even sailed them. We even sailed the seas, and we don't have a single sailor in our party. And yet, it was fine. Wait, our encounters? Encounters were off, oh my god. Turn encounters on. I did not mean to have that. No wonder I didn't get extra encounters in the freaking cave. That's okay. The bo at, the bosses so far have been pretty easy, so I think I might have over leveled um, trying to get gold. <laughs> those eyes. I don't like the way they're looking at me. I can't see your message is being covered up by the pin in the ad reminder. Hang on, I'll read it in a second, Koneko. I see that you, there's a message. I just can't read it. Shit's all covered up. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, into the castle. Now I know there was chests in here. I remember not being able to get into these rooms back here with the wizards. Oh, they have three chests. Okay. Mithril knife, a saber, a cottage. Nice. Narrative Jenga tower over here. <laughs> change one thing, you gotta change it all, lest shit come crashing down. It's true. You can change one thing and it makes the whole story not work anymore. Oh, nitro powder. Okay. I guess that's a key item. Iron armor and a tent. Okay. All right, what I have for everybody is better. Okay, last stop on our treasure hunt is the Chaos Shrine. Oh, I have to go this way. Not across the bridge. But that Jenga tower, like, that's the reason that final drafts of things and first drafts of things often don't have a lot to do with each other. They're usually, like, so freaking different. Get in. Okay. All right, let's find all the treasures we couldn't find in this place. I feel like I must have not done a good job at treasure hunting because there was so many. 
I want to save those Kuras, so we're not going to do the, the big Dia. I might do some little Dias on big groups. But it looks like everyone can one-shot these. Which I guess makes sense. This was the first area, so of course they're going to be weak. A rune blade, okay. Let's see if that's even better for Landon. I'm just gonna go around like this, like around the perimeter. Cause I guess that's where they are. Most of my big projects are AUs. Yeah, me too. Um, I know all too well. Yeah, how much things can change after the first draft or even the first idea. Sometimes a character just decides to throw your plot out the window. Yeah. Sometimes you just can't, the original way that you, that you did it, you just can't get the character to do that and it be in character. You just can't figure out a way that they, they would do that action. Werebuster. Gold Needle. Okay. I think probably I just didn't walk around enough here. Because there's no way all of these were like mystic keys. One of, some of them probably w I would have been able to get to. Oh, no I did, because there's opal ones, okay. It's not even that. Sometimes my characters have a better idea, and I'm like, oh, well, that works way better than what I had. True, yes. Um, oh, fudge, now I have to change everything about your entire character arc. Yeah. <laughs> I have experienced that before, too. Where the characters just have, like, just what they want to do is so much better than what was in your outline. Bye, everybody. Yeah. That was very satisfying. Okay, I opened that one, too. Okay, why does it say 6 out of 13? There's nowhere else to go here. Does this place get more levels afterwards? Do I come back to the Chaos Shrine later in the game and it's got like a basement or something? The black crystal shines ominously. The air hanging in the room seems slightly distorted. Well, if that's not fucking ominous. All right, well. There's nothing else here. So, I guess we're supposed to come back later. I did attempt to open all those doors last time because the two were open. Okay, so is that it? Yeah, it's Chaos Shrine is 6 out of 13, but everything else it has everything. Okie dokie. Um, well, I guess I'm supposed to do something with nitro powder, but I, I have not seen anything that I'm supposed to blow up.
Okay, I'm gonna turn off encounters so we can sail around. So we came down here already. Are there any other docks? Can't get in there. Man, it does not let me into the rivers in this boat. Okay, can't go through there. There's a dock. Is this anything? This area? No, this is a dead end too. Okay. That's Cornelia's dock. Her bridge. What's this? Is this Provoca? This is Provoca. So it's not one of the docks. What's this way? Dead end. Where am I supposed to go? I didn't mean to go inside. Well, let's try walking around that dock again that's right over there. I, thought, I think that led to a dead end, but let's try again. Dock properly. There we go. Oh, a cave. Okay. Let's try this. Mount Durgar. Wait, what was that called? Yeah, Durgar. Laho. Whoa. Have you gabbed with... Oh, I can't really do this accent very well. Have you gabbed with her smith, 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 smith? Oh my god. In the smithy he is. Oh my... Stop. Why would you do this? That's Sood. Aye, that's Narek. He's smashing rocks in the back of the cave. Mind... Mind that when it comes to... T to comes to defense, a good omelet can be every bit as vital as body armor. You should try it out sometime. That soon? Ne yay, that's Narek. Oh, okay, that's the same. Same thing. What you got to say? I'm looking for some Levistone. It's supposed to be an amazing material that makes things float in the air. Laiho! What does Laiho mean? Is that how they say hello? The earth stands to rot. Oh, the earth has started to rot. It began in the west, and no, the decay spreads. That sucks. Oh, this is Smith. If and only I could have some of the old legendary metal am adamantite, I'd be able to craft such a magical sword. Okay, so I gotta bring adamantite and whatever else that other, that other guy on the side said he wanted. Oh, treasures! I'm 
taking all your shit. Weirm killer? I need one of those. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Now that I have stolen all of their shit, I will help them with something. Nitro powder? Okay. Okay, so I was supposed to go here. The explosive force in this powder will have my canal open in no time flat. I owe you... I owe you barons? I have no idea what he's trying to say. But he's happy. We're gonna make explosions. There we go. No, we can blast... Now we can blast this rock to smithereens. What are you standing around for? The powder's set to blue. <laughs> Unless you plan going with it, you best get out where you can. Okay. Time to run. Oh, I can get out to the ocean now. Okay. Nice. I did it. I can't wait to see what lies out there beyond the canal. Thanks for making a canal for us. We definitely love um, unnatural waterways. Casual natural disaster, no big deal, right? <laughs> it's a good thing for us. Now we can get out to the ocean. So obviously we were supposed to do that and there'll be no negative repercussions. Why? Why did... Oh, because his defense goes down, but his evasion goes up. So that's why it says iron is optimal. Okay. All right. Well, let's continue. We can turn encounters back on now that we know where we're going. I can't stop reading the dialogue in Kate's sis. Yes! Final Fantasy VII Remake voice true. That voice is so cute. Oh, wait. Did I go in that? Hang on. I don't think I went in this area. I take your shit from your house. I know that was your life savings, but um, it's mine now. With a crystal eye, even the blind can see. I hear the dark elf uh, Astos nicked the one belonging to Matoya. Okay, so if you accidentally come here first, I guess he tells you what's up. Okay, that's cool. Okay. All right, now we gotta go back to my ship. I have so much stuff to sell. Hopefully that gives me plenty of money for um, whatever I'm supposed to buy next in that town. Because that mountain was not a town. There was no shops in there. All right. We're heading to the ocean. Yeah, I think the dwarves are supposed to be like Scots Irish um, with one of those kind of accents. I'm pretty sure that's intentional. We killed them all with the fire. Okay. Okay, no dock here. Well, there's a little town. Oh, there's a little town with a dock. Okay. Let's go there.
Melmond. Restore the crystals to grace. If the earth crystal regains its glow, life will return to the earth. The hills and valleys will again be green. Oh, is that why it's brown here? Because the earth is shitty? Stop by my father's shop, okay? I'm just a farmer. All right. What is my name? I've come all the way from Durgar to find out the spring hill of Earth Decay. Okay. In the cave in the southern tip of the continent lies a man named Sada. He's a wise man who knows much. Okay, southern tip of the continent. Now that we can get out to the ocean, I guess we can get to him. Restore the crystal to grace. Okay. I've heard the ancients possess something with the power to make ships float in the sky. <gasps> we get an airship in this game? Is that how we go to the moon? I want to go to the moon. I can't wait. The giant living in the cave eats rocks. He'll eat just about any kind of rock, but I hear he especially likes gems. He can't get enough of them. Okay, so we have to feed a giant a gem. Understood. The cave of Earth is to the south of Melmund on the peninsula called Devil's Tail. It used to be the closer you get to that cave, the more fertile the soil. Now? Now it's a barren waste. The Earth is decaying. And it's all the doing of the vampire that lives in the cavern of Earth. Our town is such rotten shape because he's blocking the flow of the power of the Earth. Will you stop him for us? Don't worry, I've helped out every other town. I don't see why you guys would be any different. Okay, first let's like sell all of our crap that we're not using. Wait, these are so expensive. Okay, what is our knight actually wearing? A warrior. A worm killer. Okay, yeah, these are worse. Alright, so Landon's wearing a worm killer. All right, all of our crap is sold. Let's buy more stuff. Oh my god. I thought I was rich. I can't afford the rich people item. The heck? Okay, well, we don't need any of these. We could use two of these. Oh my god. This game, like, wants me to be poor so bad. So, that's armor. Let's go look at weapons. It only gives us a point one. Okay. I shouldn't have bought that long sword. That was a waste. Said it was an upgrade for him, but no. Okay, let's go look at magic. Oh, Kiraga. Life! We can revive people! Okay. I definitely want Kiraga. Yes. Um. Yes. And then this one, right? I, I, know, I didn't really end up using heal very much, but I definitely used Dia, so let's get Diaga. Okay. Alright, we stocked up on white magic. Let's let's see if we run out of money stocking up on black magic. Cause I'm a black magic woman. Okay. We've got Faraga. 
teleport. Ooh. Okay, we definitely want this. Yeah, let's get teleport. Oh, I can't afford it. Wait, it says no one can use it. Okay. Huh. Is there another black magic shop here? My s dummy self reading Dialga as Dialga. <laughs> I mean, it's an honest mistake though. It's an honest mistake. Is this like the elf town where there, no, there's not two levels. Maybe teleport is like red mage only or something. I guess we'll get the other two. Hey, we actually bought everything. We didn't have to farm any gold this time. That's a change of pace. Okay. So... We got a couple things that we can do. We've got items that people need. We've got to go beat up a vampire. Did we go in here? Oh, we can't go in there. Okay, what did they say? It was this person over here. Right? Yeah, vampire attacked. Is there nothing we can do to stop the ruination of the earth? No, there was somebody that gave me a direction. Was it you? Maybe it was the wizard. Okay, it's to the south. Alright, let's have a nap. We can't really um, beat up a vampire while tired. So let's fix that. How expensive are naps here? Oh, okay, they're the same as Elfheim. Okay. Same as Elfheim. So, a little expensive. A little expensive for a nap. I, I hope these were really nice beds. The elf beds looked nicer, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't know if that's because this uh, place is is covered with, uh, with rot. Expensive naps. Imagine charging for nap time. They do in this game. <laughs> Uh, teleport's only available to wizards, not mages. You have to get your class upgrade before you can use teleport. Oh, okay. Okay. Class upgrade. Got it. Let's make a new save file for today. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go to the south. It's on, on a peninsula. A lesser tiger... As opposed to a greater tiger? Or as opposed to a liger? Because they kind of look like saber tooth tigers to me. Excuse me. I don't know if you heard that, it just burped. Okay. Um. Devil's Tail. What's this? Oop. Giant's Cave. That's not, um, that's not the Earth place. I want the Earth place. I hope none of you guys ever have to take expensive naps. I hope you all have nice houses and you're not murder hobos like this party of adventurers here. And you can just sleep in your house like a normal person. I hope that for all of you. So your, your naps are already paid for by your rent. Okay, here's another cave. What's this one? Cavern of Earth. Okay, perfect. Looks like there's about a zillion ways to go. <laughs> So let's try to, um, let's try to make a decision. Okay. Um, 
this will go south. I saw a little purple something. What was that? Fight me. We locked eyes and now we must fight. Hill Gigas. They do too much damage. I don't like that. I'm guessing these guys have a lot of HP. They definitely have a lot of defense. They only did 80-something damage. Mm. That didn't kill them? Oh, I meant to, um, Kira Lunar. There we go. Kira yourself, girl. That's what I meant to do. Overhealing. Waste of, waste of spell slot. Oh, this just loops back around. Okay. Poison! The poison bitches are at it again. you now. Right, we did him. Yes, yeah, so that was just the loop. Okay. All right, next let's go north. This looked kind of like it was going to be crazy to navigate, but it's not too bad, actually. I can see enough of the screen and, like, um, 
It's the zoomed out enough that we're all good. It's not that big. Treasure? Maybe? Monsters. Oh, a literal earth elemental. I'm so sorry what you're going through right now. You're probably in a lot of pain since that vampire is like just destroying all the earth stuff that you probably thrive on to live. Why am I not doing any damage? Oh my god. That was pitiful. Mm. There we go. He dead now. Gil. Oh, you know, I just realized it teleports a wizard only spell and I get like a class upgrade later. That's probably why it allows me to forget spells so that I can replace them with the ones I wasn't able to before. So it's not just about like that, it's about fully replacing. Okay. Oh wait, that's I see the exit thing. On. This wasn't the this is the right way. We gotta turn around, you guys. We gotta go all the wrong ways first so we can get all the treasure. That's the right way to play in our, our Pokemon. You gotta go the wrong way. Oh my gosh. This one has lots more directions, okay. Oh no, he poisoned. Oh, we only have, oh, we only have a few more levels of spells. It only goes up to eight. Yeah, huh, okay. Oh, dead end. Yeah, coming into the new place makes me feel all weak again. Like, I'm not doing a lot of damage. Like, I actually might have to go out and take a nap because I'm really... I am using my spells, you know? Let's see. Uh... Gimme, gimme treasure! Oh. Or fight more snakes. Yeah, that works too. Well, Koneko, you attacked fast that time.
I guess as, we, as we're continuing to make um, Landon stronger and stronger, uh, she's getting slower. Oh, fuck monsters. I always like the way MP works in this game with the spell slots. Yeah, I mean, it's like, um, it's basically just like uh, d and Have a good dinner, Koneko. We're having, um, we're having a really fun dinner. Levi is actually smoking a bologna, and we're gonna have bologna and fried egg sandwiches. Like it's, um, like it's, a, uh, you know, after school dinner, only it's like gonna be a fancy version. Yeah, it's kind of neat, Braille. Um, I'm getting used to it, you know? I'm getting used to it. It's not too bad. And it's, it does, it kind of like forces you to continue to go back to town and take naps. Um, so you can't, like, you, you have a limit to how far you can progress if you don't buy enough items. So it kind of like really makes you think strategically about using your, your items and your skills. So it's kind of neat. Are you having a good day so far, bro? Good, st good start to your Sunday. It starts off slow, but I like it because I think it encouraged me to use more of my low-level spells. Yeah, like I find myself using them because I'm just like, oh, I if I only use my biggest, baddest ones, I'm gonna run out of spell slots. So sometimes it's just not necessary to use the biggest, baddest ones. You don't always have to use the top rank heal, you know. Sometimes a lesser heal is okay to use. So it's kind of like a really different, interesting way to think about it. Treasure? Yes. Monsters? No. Oh, one of you again. Does maybe fire do better on the earth elemental? Nothing really seems to damage him very much. My day's okay debating, debating where to go for lunch. What are you choosing between? I'll help you decide. There we go. Blizzard's what I've been supposed to be using. The heck. Done. Tie near the grocery store I need to go to or Korean barbecue in the opposite direction. Who wants to be in the car forever, Braille? Nobody wants to be in the car forever. The obvious choice is if you need to go to the grocery store, you gotta get the tie. You can get Korean barbecue tomorrow. But if you gotta go to the store anyway, like who's gonna wanna do all that driving? Not you. Nobody. Did that help? Do you are you confident to get the tie now? Okay. Now let's go this way where I saw the exit. A little more confident, good. Oh no, he's asleep. Do I have anything that wakes up? Like here's silence. Here's the enemies. Okay. Here's stone. Here's silence. Yeah, I have nothing that cures sleep. Oh, he's awake. Okay, it's just temporary, I guess. Yeah, 
need Landon in tip-top shape. She's our tank, so she gets prio on heals. Move out my way, Bat. I'm trying to explore this cave. Oh my gosh, so many. Okay. We can do this. We have magic, we have strong fighters, we have all the things. There we go. Good job, Koneko. You go, Koneko. Three for you. Poisonas. I'm gonna have to run back at some point. I don't think I'm gonna finish this dungeon in one go. Yeah, that's all that that's all that those slots done. Okay. What was up here? fell in my closet. I gotta see what that was. Yo, Oreo is so dumb. He just like kicked out a whole bunch of litter out of one of the one of the um litter boxes. I'm gonna have to clean that up after stream. Like like tons tons of litter and everything. Just kicked it all out, like, made a big noise about it. He's crazy. Poor Oreo. We do love him. He's a very cute, sweet cat. But sometimes he's not very smart. <sighs> okay. Um... Do I have potions? I do have potions. So let's start healing with our potions. Anything over here? No. My cat kicks litter because I think it amuses him to see me clean it. <laughs> oh, you got a troll cat. Like this enemy we're fighting. No, they don't even, they aren't, they aren't even in, in there when we do it. So like we've got all the cat litter in the closet in this room, basically. And that's, that's all the room is for, is for their, them to, it's like basically their bathroom, the cat bathroom. And um, that's how we do it. 
So they don't even see me. Like, I go in there, I close the door, and they don't even follow me or anything. And watch, they don't watch me do it at all. And then he's just, and he startled himself. Like, I heard whatever the noise was that caused him to kick it all out, and then he ran out of that room. So it's like, <laughs> he's just being dumb and startled himself kicking too much litter. You know, if any of the cats would be the type of cat to just be like, I'm gonna mess this up to watch you pick it up, it would be Oreo, though. So maybe there's something to that. Oh yeah, we're getting these ogres now. Taking them down. Taking them downtown. That's the exit. Oh, wait. Hey, 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 hey. Treasure? Treasure! Three of those are chiefs. There we go. It's good when Koneko gets to go first. Ooh, three chests! Okay. Coral sword. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, that does nothing to his stats. Okay. All of them attacking for these to die. All right, I got a lot of HP. Hill, Hill, Gigas, Giants in a cave. Oh wait, I didn't go down there. Wait, I wasn't going to do that. I was going to use items. Uh, let's use potion to heal him. I think I see an area. Yeah, I don't think I went down here. Move out my way, bat. Hello! Jamming out while I clean to this music. This is pretty good peppy music for cleaning. I bet you get a lot of cleaning done to this music. I mean, and I am kind of cleaning up this cave here. Because I've got to beat up a vampire eventually. And uh, that'll help fix the earth crystal thing. And so then this town can be okay. Mel Land or whatever. I didn't come down here. More treasure.
knife. So we can be a Tonberry. Oh, you. Okay, wait. I need to heal up. Um, let's get some potions. Actually, oh, 150. Let's use that. All right, now I'll fight you. Somehow I just knew it was going to be an Earth Elemental. Leather shield. I don't think I have any need for a leather shield right now. He's already got iron shield and no one else uses shields. So, yeah. Okay. I don't think, right? Yeah, she can't use it. May just can't use it. go. My god. They shouldn't have collision on those bats, I swear. There we go. Okay, now we can go the stairs, the right way. I have to say the animations for like the fire and the ice spells are really freaking cool looking. Like they look good. Next floor. trees and they're flying I wonder if that sleeping bag will restore my spell slots because I think cottage is intense you have to use on the overworld right but maybe sleeping bags are different oh no Landon is stoned one gold needle. Oh, this is going to be bad. We can't get stoned again. If we get stoned again, we got to go back. 
but I only I don't I only use my one golden needle. And I don't think she has anything that cures stone. Lunar. Does she? Yeah, she doesn't have anything that cures stone. Okay. Well, that's something to note. Ooh, more treasure. Gil, yay. Okay, we gotta kill these fast before they stone us. Good job, you guys. Good job. treasure chests in here, just you. <laughs> it's literally just a monster in there, what the heck. I thought I would get an item if I beat him up. Monsters! Yeah, this game really is d and It's like literally like you help out the towns and then you go in dungeons. Like it really is like the early concepts of, of that type of tabletop game. Anything down here? Yes, another one. Oh, there's the exit down there. Okay. Excuse you. All things in the world are destined to end in death. The seal cannot be broken, and so the earth shall rot. Did I find the vampire? You cannot alter destiny. Mere mortals cannot kill the undying. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's the boss. <laughs> it's the boss. <laughs> okay. Um... Sure, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> uh, he's undead, so let's do this. And let's do this. Oh good, his gaze missed. Wait. Dia didn't really hurt him that much. Diora? Did I accidentally cast like something else on him? I mean, fire's hurting him. Okay, well he's dead now, it don't matter. Okay, sweet. Give me that. Star Ruby. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, those stairs must be where I came from. And this one, I'm, this one I'm about to look at is actually the progressing. But if I killed the vampire, why is there more? Maybe it's gonna take me out. Take me out. The stone slab is set in the floor. An evil for force seems to emanate from within. Okay. Come back for you. You know, so far none of the bosses have been very hard. Is that is this pretty much how this game is? Like the bosses are just no big no big. They're just whatever. Whatever whatever. Or is it like 10 where it's all kind of easy until you get to the end and you um are fighting Seymour's last form and you're like why the fuck is this all of a sudden hard? Let's, um, let's turn off encounters to get out of here. Wait, was there anything down this way? No. <clears throat> Alright, I know what we need to do next. The guy told us that there's a giant that likes to eat gemstones, so I have to feed this ruby to the giant. Yeah, okay, these are the stairs that I came in at. Okay, so I did explore everything. This cave is even bigger than the marsh cave was. Man, imagine, like, in the original version, and you, like, do all of this, and you fight the, the guy at the end, and then uh, you have to somehow get all the way back up. Okay, encounters can come back on now. Let's go um, have a nap before we proceed. Just to kind of, like, get ourselves all restored and nice and feeling fresh. All right, boys, it's time. Oh, nope, it's time to fight. Okay, have a nap. Okay, guys, I beat up your vampire. Things should be better now. I don't know why your town land still looks so weirdly rotted. Kind of don't get it. What's up, dude? The vampire is dead, yet the earth is still decaying. What's going on? I have the same question. 
I, I literally have the same question. Okay, we gotta find the giant. I assume this giant's cave is where he is. So let's uh, let's go to the giant's cave. All right, I have a tasty, tasty ruby for you, sir. It's delicious. Uh, Koneko just has no HP compared to the rest of the party, for real, for real. Mr. Giant, he's right there at the front. Okay. You have Star Ruby? Give me Star Ruby and I let you pass. Yes, I have the Star Ruby. You can have it. Is that his eating sound? Clink, clink. Crunch, munch. Mmm, nothing tastier than rubies. Okay, now he's gonna move his big ass out the way. Actually, actually, he got no ass. He got a back continuation. He got a big, uh, he got a big, uh, shoulder, though. <laughs> 10 out 10 giant boys. Thank you, Steampunker. I'm so glad you approve. <laughs> okay, sweet. We can get in here now. Treasure? Treasure. Great axe, gill, gill. Mithril helm? Is that better than uh than the helm Landon's wearing now? She's got a great helm on. Yes, it is. Okay. Sweet. Today in things my hypermobile ass did not expect. Had a coughing fit while walking. Cough so hard my hip joint. Koneko. <laughs> that is the most hypermobile um anecdote I've ever heard. But I, I mean, <laughs> the older we get, the more we do things like hurt ourselves by like coughing and sneezing. Is that not true? That's so true. I've definitely like coughed so hard that it hurt, like, and like I was sore. <laughs> That's so old. Were you able to pop your hip joint back in? I assume so if you're chilling, watching the stream now. <gasps> okay. Got the treasure. Let's go up here. I mean, we're in here. Might as well. Might as well see what this dungeon has to offer. Just spit us out the other end? Huh. Okay. Well, wait, where to next? Ironically, I now have a popsicle! <laughs> the popsicles were helping you yesterday. Okay. No, wait, this is a diff- I couldn't get here before. Okay. No, this is a new area. Alright, let's go in here. Sage's Cave. Jars? I cannot smash jars. I guess this isn't Zelda. I wanted to smash. Oh, there's the sage. Hey, dude, what's up? 
So are you the ones who defeated the vampire, eh? He was but a servant. The beast corrupting the earth crystal lurks much deeper within the cavern. Here, take this staff with you and use it to behind the vampire's chamber. Okay. Um, the earth rod. All right. Okay, so now we go back. And I guess we can get farther in the marsh cave. I mean, not the marsh cave, the um, earth cave. So the vampire wasn't the real boss. They did, they did a trick on me. They planned a trick. The real boss is further in. You know what's so sad after you've been sick and then you really, like, you really can't eat as much, even when you want to eat? I think you were talking about that happened to you, right, Koneko? That happens, that, that happens to me. It starts to happen to me when I start to feel a little bit better, too. It's very frustrating. Okay. I'm gonna go buy some items. I think before we return to the Earth Cave. I don't think I need a nap. I have not really used spells or anything to go do that little part we just did. But I do think I could use some more anecdote antidotes and golden needles. I don't want to get stoned. I don't have anything else I can do about that. Wait, where's the item shop? Oh my god, is there not an item shop here? Where is it? Anecdotes. Yeah, we're gonna buy some anecdotes. I meant to say antidotes. There's no item shop here! Wait. Am I blind? White magic, black magic, weapons and armor. Yeah, it's not there. Do I have to go back to Elfland to buy an um to buy items? Wait, is there an item shop inside the inn? No, it's just the one lady. I guess we're just supposed to think of this town as like super poor, and so they just don't have an item shop. This is just the magic. Okay, whatever. I guess I'll go back to the previous town. Excuse me. Go back to Elfland.
Okay, there we go. I need... need about 10 of you. need about 10 of you. For silence and darkness. I think I'm okay with that. Oh, sleeping bag only does HP. HPMP. And fully restores. Okay. So sleeping bag is just a weaker tent. It only does HP. Okay, so I've got golden needles. I've got antidotes now. Oh, wrong way. We're going this way. Am I docked by the Earth Cave? No, I guess docks only exist by civilization. That only makes too much sense. Why would there be a dock if there's no town nearby? Duh. Oh, we ought to save. Oh, we got all those... Wow, okay. There's a lot more treasure chests in uh, the Cavern of Earth. Oh, wrong way. This way! Okay, we can turn encounters back on now. So we can just go straight through at this point. We don't have to stop nowhere. We opened all the treasure. This way? I'm trying to remember where the stairs um, to the next level were here. bottom left corner. The bottom right corner. I don't know my left from my right. Oh, now that I have lots of antidotes, you're not going to poison me? Is that what's going on? You're just not going to do it because I can actually do something about it now? I'm not just relying on my spell slots? Huh? Is that how it is? Apparently that's how it is. Okay, we're at the bottom again. 
Just gotta go around to the vampire's lair. Oh, you, you, Piska demons. Yeah, you die quick now. I'm stronger. Oh, cockatrices. I'm so glad I bought some golden needles. Watch, one of us is gonna get stoned. no one did I'm so scared of that effect because <laughs> I assume in this game it means the same thing it means in other Final Fantasies where if you get hit while you're stoned there's a chance of you getting shattered and die Paralyzed. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I thought we learned Paralyzed is one of the ones that fades after battle, and it is. Oh, I didn't mean- I want to do magic! Dang it. Waste. One ran away. There, that's what I meant to do the first round. Almost back to where we were. They ambushed us and one of them decided to flee. Immediately changed his mind. Gonna attack them. No, I'm no, I'm not. Just kidding. I am actually. Alright, we're back to where we were. Okay, different results this time. And now there's stairs, okay. Okay, Cavern of Earth, Basement 4. Um... How big is this place? Uh, how big is this place? Okay. All right. Well, I think uh, this is as good a time as any to pause and take a little stretch break. Um, so, if you're watching the recorded version of this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed us uh, saving Elfheim and meeting the dwarves, and, uh, and now we're going to go uh, fix the earth crystal situation. So, yeah, there will be another episode posted tomorrow because we're going to be filming more right after this. So um, you guys don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.